Hey, I'm Jesse Broadwater. And I'm Chelsea with the Pink Arrow Project. Join together with us and other passionate archers from all around the globe in the Taking Aim at Cancer Challenge 2018 to defeat cancer in my lifetime. This is Greg Poole, Bow Junkie Media, bowjunkiemedia.com. We're at the 2018 London, Kentucky ASA. Let's take a moment and look at the competitors and our men's known pro shoot down. Nathan Brooks, Alma, Arkansas. Chance Mobeff, Nashville, Tennessee. Stephen Hansen, Denmark. Aaron Tedford, Great Falls, Montana. Justin Hanna, Asheville, North Carolina. All right, everybody, Greg Poole here at Bow Junkie Media, bowjunkiemedia.com. We're at the 2018 London ASA in London, Kentucky. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by Easton Archery. We're here with Elite Pro Staff Manager Darren Christianberry. It's time for the known pro boys. Yeah, got a couple boys in blue out there. I'm rooting for Chance and, and Nathan, obviously, but, man, this is anybody's ball game. No doubt about it. We got the we got Denmark's favorite, Stefan Hansen, mm -hmm. in the mix at a 433. Aaron Tedford, who we hadn't seen in a year or so out here in the shoot down at a 430. And then Justin Hanna at a 428. Justin's been shooting pretty consistent here. Justin's making a habit of getting in these shoot offs. All right, here we go. Of course, you can tell Aaron Tedford the southpaw there with his southpaw brother, Paul Tedford, holding the umbrella for him. Chance has a really high arrow right off the bat. He's going to he try does. to make a move, it looks like. He does. Now Nathan Brooks with with a little bit of a lead there. What do you think his lead. strategy is coming into this? He's going to try to hit rings. Ten for Nathan Brooks. Puts him at a 452. Chance going for a 14 right off the bat. And Chance Bobeff with a 14 right off the guns. Puts that's him uh, just two points behind. Yeah, Nathan that's going to close that gap. And Nathan's like, crap. Yeah, Nathan's <laughs> like, well, that's not what I wanted to start with. 14 for Stefan Hansen. Stefan's not afraid to shoot at anything. Stefan Hansen holds a bow as good as anybody I've ever seen. Here we go, Aaron Tedford with a 10. Mr. Justin Hanna. Yep. Oh, he called upper. Oh, he called upper, t upper 12 on that. So that's going to be a 10 for Justin Hanna. So let's go to the PSE leaderboard and check it out. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number two in the known pro here at the London, Kentucky ASA. Nathan Brooks, not up to the start he wanted, shoots a 10, and mm -hmm. the guy right behind him, elite, elite teammate Chance Bobeff drops a 14 on him. He's uh, announced his presence with authority is what I call it. And now that. Chance is on the close turkey. Yeah, and I know what he's going to do right here, too. He, I don't know. He'll probably hit it, but I know he's going to shoot at it. I'm curious to see what Nathan does here if he has to try to match Chance. Well, a two-point two, two lead out here in the known pro is not exactly going to be your uh, comfortable no. lead. Chance Bobef's arrow does look a little bit high. He, he looked at it really quick with a confident eye there. Okay, first up, here we go. Aaron Tedford with the upper 12 call. An eight. Here we go. Stefan Hansen oh, calls an upper 12 and hits a 10. 10 for Stefan. Mr. Right, here we go, Chance Bobeff. If he hits two 14s in a row, that's going to put Nathan in a tough spot. It is. Uh-oh, he's flipping cards. cards. 14, that's two in a row for Chance Bobeff. Nathan Brooks is going to have to change the game up a little bit. Nathan Brooks is not liking Mr. Chance right now. <laughs> right. I know they're good friends, but he's not liking him right now. 12 for Nathan Brooks. That'll help. It's going to stem that a little bit. That puts him tied. That helped him. Yes, absolutely. Going to give Chance some pretty big confidence coming into this, though. No doubt. 
10 for Justin Hanna. So let's go to the PSE leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. Third arrow in the known pro here at the London mm -hmm. ASA. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by Easton Archery. Chance Bobeff's coming out the box. Putting the, blazing. Putting the pressure on, for sure. Two 14s in a row is going to put the pressure on anybody now. Chance is up on the long deer. What do you think he does He's going to 12 this, knowing Nathan's going for the turkey here. So right. Nathan needs this ring to stay. Ooh, Stefan Hansen with an with incredibly it. high arrow. Let's see what Chance does here. Looks like Chance's arrow is a bit right. Yeah, he got. Nathan Brooks Nathan. doesn't look like he went for a 14 on that. No. Aaron he went Tedford. For the 12. Aaron still at full draw. All right, here we go. A lot to watch out there. Yeah, there is. There's yeah, I got some interesting arrows out there. So here we go, Aaron Aaron Tedford on the javelina. We we'll have to do some math here. Ten. You should be able to handle that. Tens now. are easy. Tens are easy. Here we go, Justin Hanna on the Blaise Buck with an eight. Well, they're, they're definitely going for him. They are definitely may, trying to make the move. Nathan here played a little safe here, I think. I'm surprised he didn't shoot at that 14. Next up, 12, so another bonus that's ring for second, Nathan. That's what he needed that's to do. That's second best. I mean, just from the looks of it, we're getting, getting ready to get the official call here, but that looks like that'd be a good decision seeing what Chance sure. did down there. Nathan obviously knows more than I do. so Chance might have gave some back. Andy and he did, did an eight for Chance Bobeff. There's really no wind here to speak of. Mm -mm, not, not enough to make these arrows move. Here we go. Denmark Stefan Hansen with a five. Let's go to the PSE leaderboard. Folks, this is the fourth arrow in the known pro here at the London, Kentucky ASA. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Easton Archery. Chance Bobeff hit two 14s in a row and was really putting some pressure on. Then a 12, and then he shoots an 8. Yes, for sure. And Nathan hit another ring to extend his lead by a hair, but Chance did what he had to do, but he slipped up and made a mistake there. Yes, he did. Again, be curious to see if Nathan can capitalize on that. Good looking shot from Nathan. Chance knows after shooting that 8, he's got to come back with a ring, there's no doubt. He did call up for 12. Looks like he went for it, too. Yeah. I thought he might be looks pulling a fast one. That arrow looks a little right again. 12, he got it. Got the right side of it. So a 12 for Chance Bobeth. Leader Nathan Brooks with a 12. Nice. Nathan's doing exactly what he needs to do. He is. Nathan's come into the last couple leading and, and not finished where he wanted to finish. So right. he's really trying to prove something here. No doubt. An eight on the turkey for Justin. Justin's just not finding the groove. No, he's not. Here we go, Aaron Tedford on the Blaise Buck. A little bit of a high arrow down there. 14 for Aaron Tedford. There he capitalizes on one. Stefan Hansen on the heavy calls upper 12. Gets an eight. Hmm. So an eight for Stefan Hansen. Let's go to the PSE leaderboard.
All right, here we go, Darren. This is the fifth arrow in the men's known pro at the ASA in London, Kentucky. Here with Elite Pro Staff Manager Darren Christianberry. This has been a been a sort of an interesting but it, sort of an anticlimactic yeah, shoot down here. Yeah, exciting chance comes out blazing, but trips up a little bit and shoots an eight. Nathan's just picking off twelves one at a time here, so it's uh, it's really a two man race in my eyes right now. No doubt about it. Nathan's still at full draw. Chance still at full draw. Looks like Nathan shot a little bit of a left arrow there. He sure did. Can't see the have you down there for chance. Here comes Aaron Tedford coming to full draw with 34 seconds left. Brother Paul holding the umbrella for him. He is on the turkey, so probably going to be bearing down and going for one here. Looks like that was a... That's a high arrow on the turkey. Yep. So here we go. Chance Bobeff on the heavy. 12 wow. for Chance. That's what he needs to do. So here we go. Stefan Hansen with a very high arrow on the Blesbuck there, but that 14 on the Blesbuck is a little bit higher than the others. Yes. Not that high, though. Five for Stefan Hansen. Five for Stefan. Here we go. Aaron Tedford going for, looks like he's going for a 14 on the. 14 for Aaron Tedford on the turkey. Back-to-back -back 14s for Aaron Tedford. Moves him to 486. Yeah. He's within 10 points of chance right now. Here we go, Nathan, J Justin Hanna on the deer with a 12. Good shot by Justin Hanna right there. All right, let's see what our leader, Nathan Brooks, has to say here. Looks like that arrow went a little left. It did, left or low, I don't know what he was shooting at there. And an eight. That's not going to be what he. That's not going to be what he needs no. right there. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and see what it looks like. Here we go, everybody. This is the sixth and final arrow in the men's known pro here at the London, Kentucky ASA. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by Easton Archery. Uh, Stefan Hansen finished in fifth. Justin Hanna finished in fourth. We have Aaron Tedford at a 486. And then Chance Bobeff and Nathan Brooks tied at a 496. Now, uh, Nathan Brooks still has the lead on bonus rings, mm -hmm. but bonus rings don't break first place. They do not. Score only breaks first place, but Nathan will know what he needs to do after Chance shoots. Aaron did slip in there. He's within 10 points now, so this is really kind of a novelty arrow to, to not dumb right. it down, but right. you know, Aaron's going to finish on the podium for sure, so we'll see what he does, and then uh, Chance is going to Chance is going to put Nathan's future in his hands. Aaron was telling me he hasn't shot this bow since the last ASA he attended. Wow. Now, he shot other bows, of course, but okay, this gotcha. particular bow this he's particular not shooting. Yeah, same sight tape, same everything. He's shooting it pretty good. Yes, he is. He's not shooting the scat release anymore. He's shooting a Carter, so. Okay. Looks like, Aaron, looks like Aaron went for the 14 because he's a Tedford, and that's what they do. <laughs> Tedfords are not scared. And an eight for Aaron Tedford. So here we go. comes down to your two boys here. Mm -hmm. What do you think Chance does? I think he shoots at the 12. I think he shoots at the 12 here, hits the ring, forces Nathan to have to hit it. He could shoot at the 14 and really put the pressure on if he wants to because, you know, falling off the podium is not an option here. Unless right. he shoots a blank. Right. Well, and even still if, can't. Yeah, I was gonna say even if he zeroed it, he still wouldn't yeah, still fall off can't. the podium. But forty four yards, unfamiliar sort of unfamiliar target for the shoot down, but it's really gonna be a matter of, of I think for chance as if he can see it. Yeah. I mean if he it, can see yeah, it. If chance can see it, he's not gonna be afraid to go for it. I remember when he won the OPA the first year he bombed that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's he's not going to be afraid to shoot at Neither it. one of these guys want to give either one very many chances to win this tournament, so Chance looks like he went hard at the low 12. It sure does. Here we go, Chance Bobeff with a 10. Chance Bobeff with a 10. Nathan and Chance laughing, laughing over there, bumping fists, so so here we go. Nathan needs a ring to win. Attend a tie, and we'll shoot another arrow. There we go. So obviously he shot. 
chance missed that one a little bit low right, but mm -hmm. still still hung the 10. For sure. So uh, what do you think, uh, where do you think I should say Nathan Ames here, top part of the 12 Nathan's and hope gonna, Yeah, I don't, I don't believe Nathan's shooting a lens, so he's going to have a real good view of framing this target. I think he'll aim top side of the 12, try to hit that ring. But again, he doesn't want to give Chance very many chances. Uh, right. He just wants to, he wants to end this right here. Yes, no doubt about it. So here we go. Nathan Brooks needs a needs a 12, or I suppose a 14 to win it, but he's mm -hmm. not going to shoot for a 14. No. But he, he needs a 12 to win it, 10 to tie. Uh, if they tie, we will go to another arrow. As we mentioned earlier, first place cannot be determined by bonus mm -hmm. rings. A little bit of a oh, breeze. Oh, here comes a little bit right of a there. breeze there. Uh-oh. That looks like a little bit of a low arrow, and he turns and high-fives Chance, gives him a hug. Chance is going to be the winner, it looks like. And an eight. And an eight. So Chance Bobef is going to be your 2018 known pro London ASA champion. This is the known pro shot of the shoot down. There was a couple of arrows actually. Chance Bobef starting out with back-to-back -back 14s to jump right in this thing, full tilt, and then Nathan slips up and makes a couple mistakes at the end and let Chance take the victory. No doubt about it. Uh, Chance actually came out with 14, 14, 12, and then slipped up, shot that eight. Mm -hmm. Nathan had some dribblers that kept that kept Chance in the game. Came down to the sixth and final arrow. Chance doesn't hit the 12, mm -hmm. and then Nathan shoots an eight to give Chance the win. All right, everybody, Greg Poe here at Bow Junkie Media. We're with your 2018 London, Kentucky ASA Known Pro Champion, Chance Bobef. That was uh, that was a little dramatic there. It, it was. It was. Uh, it's all a little unexpected because I, I really wasn't banking on Nathan to miss that one. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I thought that whenever I just missed it to the right that it was uh, kind of having flashbacks from last year when he got me by two. <laughs> right. All right. So, so coming into that final uh, final arrow there. You guys were at 44 yards. Uh, what was kind of your, your mentality coming into that? Obviously, you couldn't shoot yourself off the podium, but you, you know you're not going to shoot for a 14 and do something stupid to make him just lay up. So, kind of what what was your sh thought process during that shot? I, I just wanted to I wanted to make a really good shot at the 12 because I knew it, you know if if I made a good shot at the 12 and hit it, I would it would force him to shoot at the 14 to win outright, or a 12 to tie and we go to another target. But you know, I knew if I made a good shot and got the 12 that, that it would put the pressure back on him and make him have to, you know, shoot the 14. And to be honest, there's a little bit more to aim at down around the 12, so <laughs> it helps in times of nerves. All right, so t tough question to ask, of course, but Nathan shoots an eight on the final arrow there to give you the victory. What was going through your mind when you saw the arrow hit? It's tough because me and Nathan are so close. You know, it's it, it hurts to see somebody, you, you know, that you call a friend to to not succeed but you know at the, at the same time we're competitors and and we under we understand and you know we we root for each other whether we're shooting against each other or you know i'm holding an umbrella for him so congratulations thank you man